C sharp development. So I hope that it will not be a problem for you to understand what I'm trying to start saying here. Three, four, five. Okay. Then I'm going to return. I will say the new list of underscore invoices. All right. Just like that. So. Okay. There we go. So this is perfect up to this point. We have the invoices, the invoice. But now we said that this is part of our future one, right? This functionality. Okay. And I'm going to at this point extract a uh interface based on this one, based on this class. And I will close it because that's what I needed. It. So imagine now the idea is imagine that you have a bunch of invoices that you have to do some operation with, maybe saving, maybe deletion, maybe process payments, uh, maybe send an email and tell the customer something or something like that. So we have those invoices in a collection, and now how do we do the processing, right? Well, that's what we're going to do under the future one, right? We said that's based on the future one. So future one is going to be welcome to invoice processing, okay? There we go. So that's going to be our future one. I mean, obviously, this is not really the adequate uh, uh, naming which I've chosen, but let's keep it this way. Let's keep it simple so that you know that this is future one and that the invoice in processing is actually part of it, okay? Now, uh, at this point, we have to do some coding, obviously. I mean, and I'm gonna do everything under this future one to keep it simple. I will not separate things into other classes, just not to confuse you, all right? So, we have already an interface of the uh, invoice and I will call it here, I invoice okay, equals to new right so these are not new uh things for you and you know that that's how we instantiate or neutralize a new invoice of invoice class and then i'd like to get a list of invoices at this point right and I will say that this is equal to what? To I, and then I will call the invoices to process, right? Invoices to process. This is when now I will pass in our invoices collection, okay? Remember? Remember this one right here? Or well, let's open the interface. Where we have a collection of invoices, all right? If it's easier, and this is our method that processes it, okay? So, at this point, I have the bare bone uh, things, and uh, now we have to add the invoices uh, for processing somewhere. Oh my goodness, now, this could be either another collection of a type list, an array, maybe a database, it doesn't matter, but for my actually uh, purpose right here, I've chosen to use Way. So, what is really, I mean, uh, way is actually an interesting uh, thing. Uh, uh, it's an interesting uh, thing for, I mean, that falls under the collection, okay? And uh, uh, we can store actual information there of uh, uh, simple or generic data types. Uh, and uh, we can also store uh, complex, actually, uh, information of uh, complex, uh, basically of complex stuff types such as uh, invoices in our case. And uh, basically the reason because I've chosen the query of a type, right? Query. Query, query of a type T, right? Is because of the way that this works. So basically it supports the model first in, first out. What does that mean? That means we process invoice one, then we remove it from the way. That's what I want. 
we process invoice to we remove it from the query then we process invoice 3 we remove it from the query and so on and so on so it's very easy uh, to manipulate with a quick collection by using by the queen and in the next actually uh, in picking the next uh, obviously uh, ele uh, I mean proper elements from the data type for example okay so in our case now what we need to do is we need to add invoices uh, for processing in query right? right and how do we do it all right well how do we do it so for that purpose I will do a bar and I will do inv invoices, all right? I will just keep it simple like that, okay? Then I will say that this equals to new query, right? Of a type string. In my case, I'll keep it simple. Then I will close the brackets like that, okay? Then I will say for each. Now we defined it. Say for each bar O element in list invoices just right here in invoices and query yes dot e n q o oh there we go that's why it's like that okay 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 add the invoices the invoice number okay so what did i do here keep in mind that the query also accepts complex data uh, data types in my case i had no need of this because i have only one property under the under the invoice model and this is only invoice number that's why actually i'm just keeping it very simple for you so that you understand what but what I'm doing right here is I declared our query, right? Then I said for every niche element in the invoice, in the collection of invoices, put all of this cell, uh, put all of those invoices in query, which is this one, this one actually, okay? And now I'd like to do a console write line, an empty one. As I like to separate things, um, and then what I'm going to do at this point is print invoices from the query. Invoices from query. I just want to make sure that they are, they have been uh, saved. 